ride-sharing startup Lyft gives us a tour of its fuzzy pink office on this week's episode of Cribs. Lyft's digs are on the edge of San Francisco's Mission District and full of bright colors and character. I met up with Jesse McMillan, Lyft's head of creative, for a tour. Tell me about what goes on in this room. Yeah, so this actually is the central meeting space at Lyft. Um, we have bi-weekly company meetings here where everybody gets together and we share the information about what's happening and keep a temperature check on like where we are and get together as a group. Um, it's also the place where everybody gets together to have lunch every day. I think a lot of the, the space when they set it up was about creating an environment where you didn't always have to be at a desk. Um, you know, making spaces that were multi-purpose and you know, whether it's an arrangement of couches where you could come together and sit and brainstorm and be in, a, in an environment that didn't feel so kind of corporate. Do you ever have outside Lyft drivers come in for events here or other social events happen here? Yeah, definitely. I mean, outside of meeting as a kind of corporate headquarters, um, we used this space, we did a whole series of driver rallies where we brought drivers in from all over San Francisco and kind of gave them a big update on what we were doing with you know, the brand and the company. Um, we regularly have things like hackathons down here where we get different cross-section of the team together and like really engage in working on a project together. A super kind of interactive and fun environment that I think again connects to this idea of the fact that Lyft is a brand that wants to have fun, that doesn't want to take everything so seriously all the time. And I think keeping people excited and having a good time is a part of creating a unique and a dynamic company culture. Lyft's headquarters are specifically designed to give it a friendly community feel. You see that in the open floor plan, common areas, and the cafeteria where employees gather for meals and recreational activities. So this is one of the, the main uh, work areas here. Um, looks like you've got your secret dream boards over here, is that what that's Yeah, you like? know, this is funny. So like, I think to a lot of brands, but especially Lyft, having a set of core values is really important. Uh, and here, um, things like being yourself, uh, creating fearlessly, making it happen, these were actually symbols that were created to represent those values and we wanted to bring them to life and make this kind of dynamic uh, working mood board type of uh, application for stuff like that. But yeah, you know, having this open platform where everybody can kind of be together is really, uh, again, about fostering that idea of community and team. Mm -hmm. And it looks like it's purposely designed so that people meet in the middle to, to go to the workstation or to sit down and collaborate or uh, to go across here and, and I mean it's very open. Yeah, space. I think you know it's we've got meeting and conference rooms around the exterior so that if you need a place to be more private you know you can find that space um, whether it's for a call or, or a tight meeting. Yeah, and Lyft is constantly operating 24-7. People are gathering, uh, getting rides and, uh, and, and constantly providing service. How do you deal with that in that kind of, in this work environment? You know, I, I think like all startups, it's kind of like an always-on mentality. And I think when people are passionate, they want to, you know, be around like what's happening and engage in what's going on. Uh, I think again, having a space that doesn't feel too confined and that feels really open and bright and, and kind of a lot of air, airy kind of environment, you know, definitely lends to that idea that like it, it feels good to be here. Every inch of the 66,000 square foot office is designed for fun. Visitors are met with giant hot pink oblong shapes at the entrance, and team members gather on bleachers for meetups. The quirk of Lyft headquarters reflects the brand's original flavor. This is wild. Yeah, you know, I mean, I think it's like, you know, bringing to life those uh, elements of the brand's history from kind of the early days of these furry pink mustaches on cars, mm -hmm. and finding ways to kind of bring that into fun little elements of the space was uh, one of the things that we did. And so like wrapping an entire elevator with uh, a funny pink fur uh, definitely takes it out of the ordinary and brings to life some of that kind of quirky lift uh, irreverence that I think, again, is a signature piece of who we are. Who designed this or who decided this is the pink, this is the lift look? You know, I, I mean, I think pink has been a central part of the, the kind of brand's uh, history from the very beginning. Um, is definitely like, building on that, that brand equity um, and things that you know, I think become important as you grow as a brand as well. I don't know if the camera can pick this up, but the, the pinkness of the fuzz seems to be like making you look more tan. <laughs> is, that, is it just me? You know, I don't it's, know. A, it's a fringe benefit, I guess. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if you've heard about our secret Willy Wonka room or not. Give him a little, oh, hey, whoa. What? This is crazy. <laughs> Wow.
kind of this little library? Yeah, it's kind of like the secret bat cave. You know, I mean the, the hidden study. It's kind of like uh, Mr. Green in the study with the candlestick. Yeah, kind of yeah, you gotta have you gotta have those hidden gems sprinkled <laughs> around your space. You know, again, in order to keep it interesting and make sure it's not all about conference rooms and cubicles, but uh, something a little bit more playful. What really goes down here? Uh, you know, well, I mean, I think this is a space where there's a Xbox in here, so people want to blow off a little steam. Uh, it's a creative space for sure. There's books and uh, inspiration. So and you've got like a nice little collection. Yeah, up you here know, I mean, people need to you know relax a little beverages. bit as well. Beverages, uh huh. You, you never know. Uh, pop up uh, cocktails might be something that could happen. Okay, so something I noticed about this room, if you if you've got several men in mustaches, you've I, you got know, who doesn't love Tom Selleck? Come on. Yeah, Tom Selleck, and then Freddie Mercury. Freddie Mercury, like what what's going on with the men in mustache situation? <laughs> you know, it's like when you've got a fun, crazy icon uh, like a mustache, you gotta find ways to celebrate it. Well, cool. Thanks for having us. This has been really anytime, cool. anytime. Yeah. Yeah. Oh.